All right, hello everybody. Welcome to day six. Um, this is our notes on uh, Ohm's law. So um, let's get rolling. Um, the first thing is we are going to have a quiz tomorrow. Um, so Friday and Monday's lessons um, are going to be assessed in a quiz tomorrow. So that's the only thing you have to do tomorrow. But again, you have to be able to do the quiz tomorrow. Um, so you're going to take the notes from this slide, complete today's exit ticket. All right. And um, there's also an assignment that goes with today. So you guys can just copy um, your answers onto a piece of paper. You don't have to print anything out. You do not need to submit anything with today's assignment. So if you're looking for something here, you don't need to do anything there. Okay. So there's nothing that you guys need to do as far as an assignment um, today besides our exit ticket. Okay. So make sure you do our exit ticket because that is due tomorrow or today at 2.30. And again, quiz tomorrow um, at, again, due at 2.30 on Friday and Monday's stuff. So what you're going to be doing today, all right, you're going to be Oops, that wasn't what I wanted to do. What you're going to be doing today, um, you're going to be going through that idea of current, resistance, and voltage, and actually using them in something we call Ohm's Law. So Ohm's Law is kind of our, our big deal for today, and we're going to go through exactly how to use Ohm's Law here in just a sec. So, all right, let's get started. Um, Ohm's law is equal to voltage, or voltage is equal to current times resistance. So if we look at this, voltage, remember, is that push, okay, um, of the electrons through a circuit. It's how it's that difference in electric potential that creates an electric um, uh, electric current to flow so we're going to be pushing electrons the current is actual the actual electrons moving so how fast the electrons are moving is how fast the current is going and then the resistance is how much that that current that current is being resisted okay how much is it being opposed so um, different things like insulators have really high resistance they don't want to let those electrons flow and then other things like conductors want to let, let those electrons flow so current or so um, conductors have a really, really low resistance, right? So if we go back to our slides, we can do this example right here. The video example is down there right for you, and I'm going to help you set it up. But um, so if we have a toaster that produces 12 ohms of resistance in a 120 volt circuit, Uh, what is that going to look like? Okay, what's the current going to be? So we're going to take our voltage equal to our current times our resistance. And if we're looking for our current, we can divide both sides by R. That gets I all by itself, which is current. So V over R equals current. Now you guys can plug it in. So at this point, I want you guys to try it and then go watch this video example. All right. So what I'd like you guys to do at this point is to pause the video and go back and try it and then check your uh, answer with this video example when you're done. All right. Great. So hopefully you went through and you watched that video. All right. And you figured out, OK, so now we have our voltage of 120 divided by our resistance of 12 ohms, right? And 120 divided by 12 is equal to 10 amps. Right, pretty simple. So if we move on to our next example, all right, I want you to try this one on your own. Um, so pause the video as soon as I'm done explaining it. Uh, the correct answer is right there, so you can check your answer. So, uh, oops, let's go back. How do I go back? Come on. Okay.
Okay, so again, uh, in a toy car, the motor needs two amps of current to work properly. If the car runs on four 1.5 volt batteries, what is the motor's resistance? All right, so think about this right here. There are four 1.5 volt batteries there for you. All right, so after you um, give this one a shot, um, we'll go over it. So pause the video, try it on your own, and we will go over it here in just a sec. Okay, so let's go over this one. So if we have Um, in this example, we have still V equals I, R, and we're looking for R. So to solve it, we could just divide both sides by I, gets R by itself. So we're already set up. So V over I equals R, and now we can sub in and solve right away. So if our voltage is 1.5 times 4, because there's four of them, right? You add each one of them together, we have 6 over six volts over two amps, all right? When you divide those two, six divided by two is three. And because it's resistance, we're looking for ohms. And now what's going on? All right, so uh, finally, here's your assignment. Um, it's the Ohm's Law worksheet. The video key is right here. So you can uh, come and look at this video key at any point and it'll walk you through how to do the problems. Do the problems first because you have a quiz on it tomorrow. All right, uh, and then complete the electricity day six exit ticket by 2.30 today. All right, thanks guys, have a great day.